It's not a sort of flooding brought on by rain or spring runoff. In fact, it can happen on a sunny day. They're sometimes called a king tide. Coastal areas are flooded by a particularly bad or high, high tide. Well, NASA's sea level change science team says coastal communities have a problem basically just around the corner. King tides that are even higher and happen more and more often. Instead of something that's almost a curiosity, a rare occurrence, like when this king tide hit La Jolla, California, it could be something that happens often. The reason? The moon. It's getting closer, it's getting a little farther away. Jess McIver is with UBC's Department of Physics and Astronomy. She says, we don't really notice everything the moon's doing. It's not just orbiting Earth, it's wobbling, sort of shifting and tilting as it goes. It's also changing its orbit in a cycle that lasts 18.6 years. Well, at one point in that cycle, its gravitational pull on Earth means higher tides. It's nothing new. The phenomenon was discovered in 1728. The difference is climate change. It happens to be coming in conjunction with sea level rise. What that'll mean is when the cycle starts to amplify the tides in the mid-2030s, there's going to be a bigger impact than ever. There will be more coastal floods and they'll hit in clusters. They could come back day after day for a month or even longer. Yeah, they give us uh, glimpses into the future. Of Case what, Lockman uh, is the director of UBC's Coastal like Adaptation and... Lab. He says sea levels are rising and they'll be a major problem decades from now. But the surge from the king tides, he says, will give us an early look at what higher levels will mean. The king tides are just a peek into the future of what a 2050 normal situation might look like. Right now, NASA says urban planners on the coasts tend to worry about extreme events, hurricanes and storms. They're also going to have to prepare for more high tides. Mike Armstrong, Global News.